blue shirt. A minute. Down. Hello. Hello. Uh, I've been following your pointings, and what I can report is that uh, I have a sense, like I'm here. It's the only thing I can like clearly report. Yeah. Uh, when I have this sense that I'm here, there is no problem. Mm. Um, still, I. I remember I have a doubt, like, is this it, or mm. I... <laughs> well, let's take a look. When you say, I'm here, I mean, it's a natural thing, we all feel, I'm here. You can't say, I'm not here, you know, <laughs> unless you mean, well, I'm not here in my attention or something. But it's a natural thing, I'm here. But for you, it's something a bit more than just the statement, I'm here. Somebody, where are you? I'm here. Not this. The something is more deeper than the usual I am hereness, isn't it? So, what it means for you? Open it's a, it it's a, it's less. There is a, there is less relation. Like yeah. it's a, uh, it happened a couple couple of days ago. Or I remember the world like the relation. Like I I'm aware only of hereness. Yeah. If it feels like it. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's very yeah. I'm really happy that you say this because I I I, I wasn't sure it wasn't a, like an illusion. Okay. Uh, Let's look together now. You know, can anyone here search within uh, to find a place where it's not you plus something? When I say I, it's basically an environment. It's all my relatives, what I like, my dreams and ambitions, and what happened yesterday, and you know what I had this morning to eat. And if I is uh, is all this stuff, an entourage of associations. Or when you say I, is can there be an I no plus, not I and? Can we look together like this for a moment? And you are still in this thing. Hmm? What is I? Not I, body. Not I, you know. Yes, you know, um, graduate. Not I, husband. Not I, daughter. Not I, description like that. Not high history. Let me put another way. I'm coming with you because you triggered something. Suppose you. Uh, hmm, this the sense my, and you say my thing. It indicates uh, you as a possessor of something. Like my house, my house, meaning it belongs to me. It's not well, not me. My house is not me. No, but my house, my house uh, is uh, this big, and you know, my family. Oh, we are so many. My, not me. Can we start with this for a moment? Sometimes you can say, uh, what more? Oh, my body. Was really oh, it's full of pain. My body, my meaning what? Body we know. My mean the one who for whom the body is, to whom the body belongs. Okay. You can say my uh, my eyesight is not as good as it used to be. In fact, on the left eye, I would give it out of say ten, I would say like it's you know three out of ten functioning, and the right eye. I can say that's more like seven out of ten. What is seeing the deficiency or efficiency of seeing? My sight also. So it is not the sight. It sees seeing even. Am I going too fast? It also says, you know, my beliefs also have changed over the years. So belief also is not what it is. It is uh uh, my belief have changed. The beliefs have changed. I have not necessarily changed. You see, I, I, my, mine, my relationship has broken up. Oh, my life is finished. Who speak? Yeah? 
my relationship, uh, my life is over. Uh, life also has been talking. My, me, I, I am not them. My breath also is struggling. My breath is struggling. Breath it sees, breath it is not even. Hmm? Also, uh, my dream, my life. My future, my past, all these it is not. So, if for a moment we could just separate and leave those things aside, that it, the I is associating with. Hmm? And so, you come to just the, the sense, the intuition I am. You with me or not on this one? Okay. So there is just a sense, I. Am means to be, to exist. Who is the I who am? Consciousness, awareness. And that is there before even first. If something is first, it sees this one is first. I say when we count, we count, count from one to ten, or count up to ten. You say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nobody says zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So zero is not counted. This place is almost at the place of zero, we can say, and everything else is seen to come and go. In front of him. This I sense, this one is saying, I am. I am here. Is it the same as what you are saying? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Yeah, it's only I am here. Yes, I am here. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Good thing. It's a. Uh, it's, uh, it's very stable. Mm. Yeah. It feels uh, nothing can like nothing can surprise me. Yes. Uh, Is it selfish? No, not at all. We're just checking. See, is the self? Uh, I alone am. Oh, could it be like I alone am? No. 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 It says I. I. I is the most. Is stable. It's here. Before anything else, even the sense of I call it the first born, this one, because only after the arising of I can even the sense of you come. It's only in relation to I that the perceiving of a you can be there, or other. First must arise I. That I is consciousness. When consciousness is, other things can be perceived. That's the value of I. It is the perceiving consciousness. Try and make any sensible statement about your life, excluding I. Say anything at all, you know, about the morning or yesterday or whatever we talk about. Hmm? Even if you don't have the sense I in it. You know? Oh, the president of uh, Ecuador has went to so and so and so. No, I. Yes, I. According to you, to your perceiving, your perception, the I is there. So, this I that says, I am, usually this I am is not spoken, or it is joined up to something else. I am a doctor. I am a student. I am a husband. 
I am something. But what about just I am? And even if the world goes, yeah, I am what? <laughs> so nobody says, I am. It is not for speaking. You don't go around and say, introduce yourself, I am. No, no. Yeah, I am what? This is the mind. Everybody needs to know that. I am, no one talk about what is I am. It's an incomplete statement or the most complete. But you must know the implication, the meaning of that. And you say, Yes, I know I am here. Yes, I am here. Now, you never say, I am there. No, I am and hereness, they go same place. When? Right now, I am here. And I ask you, is that a selfish thing? I mean, I know nobody else. No, no, just I know here. I am. I am here. And the world will not give value to this. Only one who is looking inside to discover that without which the world cannot be perceived or seen. That without which the world Time, nothing. Even God could not be known. What is this I that am and here? Don't give this just to your mind. What is this I that I am here? Maybe something want to know more. Can you say something more about it? And you know, or yes. So what? I'm here. Hmm? The reactions you can leave. Stay only in this. If you are able to, just in that intuition, the sense I am. Don't allow it to connect with any thought, or to run into any thinking or any imagery. See if the sense I am. That one just remains conscious of the sense I am, not just the words I am, but the sense I am. Without connecting it to something to make a statement, just stay as I am. This itself will be a marvelous exercise for you. Then I would like to ask you after, hmm, what did you find? What did you find? Because every other finding was coming after the I am this, and I know that, and I went there. Don't go so far. Stay only in this vibration. I am. Not just the words I am, but the sense I am. And don't get into imagination. It is not imagination. Feel, stay with it, and it will begin to reveal its own mystery. It will you will take get its juice, a taste of its juice, what it is. Don't read any book about it. Don't go to anybody else about it. Sit with this, what you say. Yes, I know I am here. And don't even give the title of I to be a person. Not I, you know, John, I'm here. No, I is not John. I is not Susan. I is not a name. I is the name. Can I offer this as a, a contemplation for today, until I see you? Just to be with that. Mm. This is better than being with anybody. <laughs> 
First, be with yourself. This is greater than being with anybody. First, know how to be in with yourself. Not how to be with you already are. Give a little attention to that purity. It is the first knowing. It is the first knowing. Before anything else can be known or perceived, it is here. It is as though, when I spoke about these two energies, that uh, which w- wants to or seems to work to keep your attention on things, on doing, and oh, I must, I'm late. I've got to do this and take care of the children. I've got to oh, send this email and be on the phone. And, oh, my daughter is coming today. Oh, I better cook baking now. <laughs> not that. Hmm? Something that keeps the attention. That even does not want. Uh, that you are encouraged to be so focused upon yourself. We tell you, oh, you're wasting time. You know, time is money. <laughs> you know, or you know, you know that's just being very selfish, very insular, aren't we? You know, this type of thing. You see, so you take this today because you came here, and just on what, so that not only you are aware. Everyone can see the same. Because in everyone, the natural knowing, I am, is there already. Your parents did not give it to you. Nobody baptized their child. This child shall be called I am. No. So before the name came, this I is, I am. It is also called a name of God also. So stay with this. And don't let imagination come, because imagination wants to come. Oh, I love this! I can come like lots of things to imagine. No, no, don't have any of it. It may, in the beginning, you may find out just I can't concentrate. I can't concentrate. It's like a hundred and one things are coming up in my mind, as though to stop you from knowing I am. <laughs> Suddenly, uh, pizza come. Oh. Oh, I like margarita. Oh. No, stuffed margarita. Today, I am. Just be with that, and you may experience. And if you feel some turbulence, some sort of energy, yeah, be aware of that. But don't go into that. It is being perceived in the presence of the I am. It is not the I am. But without the I am, it could not be perceived. But don't combine. It feels good. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Oh, sorry. Thank you. I wasn't sure if how many people. Were, because I would recommend it for everyone, even if you think you have been on the road of spiritual research for so long. No, for everyone. You. Yes. It is going back the way you came. You came through the opening, I am, and then forgot it, or dreamed you forgot it. Because even to forget it requires it to be there, because it is consciousness. Hmm? Did you want to ask something further than this? Uh, This is the highest I could report. There is like a question that uh, I just need you just tell me not to not to bother with it. It's a it's a simple question. Uh, I don't know what the what the person is. Mm-hmm. It's, it comes up in the mind, and uh, I uh, a friend from my sangha told me that, or I asked her about it, this, and it could be just a question, and I just like grab onto it and just give importance to it. So I I I. I know I don't I don't have to bother with it, but mm. if it's something I need to look at because it also um, there's a f- or I thought that like if if I'm not the person like if uh, okay I'm looking for the person I think you to, uh, you uh, said a story or like Roman said a story there was a like, policeman who dressed up as a thief mm. so if that's not it like. 
No, it's a thief that dressed up as a policeman. Okay, yeah, the other way. But I know Get it story. right. Yeah. Okay. Uh. <laughs> the story goes that uh, a thief... <laughs> Don't get me confused, okay? <laughs> uh, a thief has been uh, employed on the force, police force, and he's been given a policeman's uniform and... Uh, and then sent out to go and find and catch the thief who is himself. Nobody knows this but him. Okay? So, I sir, thank you, you know. Will he catch this thief? When anybody's looking, you blow the whistle, pow, pow, and they say, oh, he's really, really earnest, this policeman, you see. But will he catch the thief who is himself, you see? So then it says that at one point there was a lineup. Some people were caught. Someone wanted to find out, you see, uh, who robbed them. And uh, a bunch of people was in the lineup now. And then this uh, thief policeman was among in the room also looking over them, you see. And one of the criminals recognized him. <laughs> hey, you. You know? Oh, don't be rude. Who are you talking to? I'm an officer of the law. <laughs> I know you. We've been on many jobs together. <laughs> then suddenly, oh, you shut your mouth or I shoot you. <laughs> and then, you know, as he's coming, then the policeman, what will happen? This thief policeman, he will make his way out. And so, the, this thief, hmm, as soon as there's a chance that he might get exposed, what he's going to do? Off, you see. So does this story relate to something of our experience? Finish it and tell what it was for you. Uh, yeah, it's like uh, there is a there is a voice that's uh, I don't know trying to figure it out or okay uh, do this do that do that uh, or like uh -huh. when I'm sitting quietly don't touch this thought. So I, I thought this voice. This Who is it speaking to? Let's slow down. Very important. My questions can be few. Who is it speaking to? This voice. Don't touch that. Don't do this. I don't know. I I have been trying to like you know. I, I want to know. Is it to the I am? Is it to the I am here? Can it talk to the I am? And say, don't do that. Watch out. <laughs> the I am seem, uh, feels pure even without it. Like right now, there's I am, and mm. there is no problem. So uh, I, I don't. When can the I am experience problem? Uh, when there is like a thought coming coming along, mm -hmm. and I like I dra I I I grab it. I think like it's mine. It's been happening even now. It's been happening. Yeah. Like, to Some I feeling grabs all of it, and you accept that that is you. Yeah. An idea you have of who you are grab onto a thing, and it's pulled into the shape of that thing, and so energy goes in that place, and you forget that you are the I am who is the witness of all of this. This is why I ask sometimes, are you an object in front of the lens of perception, or are you behind the lens of perception? Or are you both? Or are you both and beyond? You figure it out. Something is very, very subtle what you speak, and all of this is very subtle also, until you see it. When you see it, it's very clumsy. But if you don't see, it's very subtle. Ah, it's taking you. You find yourself going down a rabbit hole. Ah, that's all fine, right? You know. So this thing that come, you say, yes, I am here. Yeah. But then a thought come and says, oh, let's go. I say, okay, I'll go with you. you know? Okay. Did the I am change places and start to go? Down the rabbit hole with some voice that says, you know, let's go. It's rabbit night. Does it go? Or is there 
if I ask, is that really happening, or is it that you're witnessing a play taking part? Are you the one who is really gone? This is very subtle. And this is also one of the stop moments in your looking, because if you can catch this here, it's worth a thousand pints. Something you catch, you only want one point. But in this type of scene, I would say that a, a thousand points I give you for this one, if you catch him. That's how important it is. If something goes, a thought appears inside. You know, wow, you know, like, yeah. Um, if you, sometimes it says you, but sometimes it says I. Whichever works, okay? <laughs> Like, you really messed up, didn't you? Okay. And the belief in that creates a blindness to the power there is in you to just be aware of that. You know what? If you are simply aware that you are the weakness of that, end of show. If you are not, mm, episode 2 coming out pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very important that you catch that. You see, you say it's what you say is very good lead for many people, because you say yes, here I am. I just am, and it's beautiful. Is it I am so long as a thought doesn't show up? Is it that look, I am all there is, and then a thought comes. <laughs> Whoa, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> Is it that you are in a beautiful place unless a thought shows up that goes, Yeah, you know, you was better yesterday. You are more you yesterday. <laughs> really? Oh God. I've got to try to get back to it proper I am. So belief is also one of your powers. A thought come, identity is another one. You must understand your powers. If belief then goes to this vice of the mind, hmm? the serpent vice, it tells you, no? So, ah, you know, yesterday was a better day for you. You were that close. You were that close to freedom. Today, uh, I'm never going to be free, am I? No, not like that. <laughs> Many people know this conversation. <laughs> so the thought comes, and somehow there is a sense that, oh, I am all entangled in this thought now, and there is this turbulence all everywhere in myself. And you forget, you don't say, but uh, that was a sensation witnessed in me. But now I am aware of how cunning these, uh, these thoughts can, can be felt to be. If they appear and you don't connect with identity, nothing happens. They collapse into oblivion. But if they come, they are also, in a way, suggesting, but effectively, they are auditioning for your attention. And then something goes, I like that. <laughs> or that relates. You don't say it in words, but in energy and attention, then something goes there. And that collaboration will produce a certain kind of fragrance. You follow like that. So actually, it's not you as the I am pure itself. The I amness is more functioning as a pure weakness. It's impartial and it's impersonal. So seeing also happens there, but it sees seeing. It perceives perceiving also. Am I connecting with you? Yeah. So this thing, you said, I am. I wanted to pursue. What? How far is your? How clean is your? I am. God says, I am. But the devil also say, I am. The ego says, I am. The person says, I am. 
Will the right I am step forward, please? <laughs> so you have to be clear when this vibration I am, meaning that you are naturally conscious. Just like now you know that you are conscious and you are experiencing the waking state. You are aware of that consciousness even. But perhaps still, the potential or likelihood to identify with some stray bullet come of some thought, something comes up, and it quickly catches hold of something and hooks you into a shape of a person again. You see, once you go into personhood, there's a story going on there. And your elevated place of pure consciousness seems like it's been compromised. Am I making sense in you? It is? So this thing you must watch. If you are paying attention, as I asked earlier, to just be, just be aware of it. Don't turn it into a mantra. I am, I am, I am, I am, I am, I am. No, just uh, be conscious. You may initially, again, you may initially feel some forces that uh, feels very distracting, and it's uh, it's going to give you a banana or something. It's going to, you know, it can even come on the phone. Those tendencies within you can manifest a phone call or something, and this, and suddenly a headache, and you know, so my foot is hurting, and you forget the exercise, and spend the afternoon in sort of like, uh, you know, sort of first aid. <laughs> so, but are you doing the the, the, the I am watching? Uh, no, not at the moment. My knee is hurting. It will do anything, anything to keep you off that. This vice you must transcend. And I've shown you how to do that now. So last thing you say is, yes, I'm, I'm here, everything is fine. Then a thought come, and with that thought, a doubt come. Mm. Then, if those two get in, they're going to have friends. They're going to throw a party in your house, and you seem available also. But then other things the next thing on, oh, it's like I just can't focus. I just can't focus on on my. I can't focus on the I am. Is a voice appearing in the consciousness? I am, but it's missed because too much energy is in already in the identification. I want to know if you see this, because if you see this, your recognition might come earlier. The mind will tell you, "Relax, we got time. Six days more." Yeah. It's a nice day. Go for a swim. Hey, what are you doing in the pool? I am is swimming. <laughs> okay. No, no swimming. Go sit down and sit with yourself, and rest in that, and it must produce some fruit. It connects with you, what I say? Uh, yeah, a lot. Mm. It's, uh, I feel also, I have to report, I have done nothing for it, for this, because I've been following you, and I know how much you stress uh, the I am. So there has been a lot of trying to stay there as the I am. Mm. Uh, but, um, yeah. It then just, you found out then, it's here. Like, how much uh, stress you've put, how much energy to be the I am, that you naturally are. How much energy it put up is really I am, <laughs> which you effortlessly are anyway. Yeah. This is the paradox. Eh? Stay as the I am. Mm. <laughs> so all of that fine, you are going to come and see. But actually, that's just a joke. Actually, I have not done anything at all. I, I am the I am. No. You're close to the I am. Oh, sorry, yes. (laughs) 
you stayed with it and it became a natural revelation in you. But I am that. And now you can say, I did nothing for it. Yet at the same time, keeping the attention on confirming was a kind of doing that was necessary in the beginning. Now afterwards you can say, yeah, no, now it's not necessary for some I to go in search of its source, the I am. All that is exposed in the I amness. Very good. I just have to confirm I don't have the Mm, the confirmation that this that this cannot pass, like yes, that the I am cannot pass. Yeah, it's like uh, yeah, it's uh, it's here. Well, uh, should I tell you something? But I don't know if you're ready for that now. <laughs> huh? <laughs> no, you're gonna have to be more than that. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's enough by itself. Say <laughs> because of uh, you know curiosity or greed or something. There is a timing to that. I want you to stabilize uh, in this I amness. You said something, and I'm just wondering if it's for the next session. I don't know. I'm just waiting to see uh, what you say. Because you're saying, OK, I take a chance. I take a chance. You are saying, I, I okay. I, I hear you. I hear you, but I don't know if it will pass. I don't. I just don't know if that also will pass. And uh, I have to tell you that even this I amness, relative to everything you will experience in life, relative to every thought, every feeling, every phenomenal manifestation, this I amness is stable compared with them. But it too came. In deep sleep, there is no I am. There is no cognitive functioning. There is no world and other. There is no I. Who is taking care of that universal consciousness? Lord Shiva, you may say. In the arising of the, of the waking state we call the consciousness I am, arose. That is the beginning of experiencing. The appearing of I am, that consciousness, is the beginning of experiencing. Sometimes consciousness is present, like in the morning or in the night. Some of us have to get up and go to the bathroom, but you go. <coughs> you do whatever needs to be done hmm? without making a mess. And without identity. Hmm? The consciousness can be there without identity, and there is functioning. It is a clue and a metaphor. But as soon as it awakes up as the in the, the waking state arises, first there is sometimes consciousness, sometimes you're just conscious. But there's no information. And that identity hasn't formed yet. Some of you may notice that. But then comes the, the sense I am kicks in, and then the world, the mechanism of the functioning of the world begins in there. Now, if even the sense I am arises, it must arise in that which was there before it. So before I am is what? I am not asking you this question. When you are in a position 
that even the seed consciousness, I am itself, is perceived. You are in the unborn. Now I know some people, why I held back to say this thing? I know some are like, well, if the I am is only a state, I want to go straight to the Absolute, and it will not be possible. The I amness is synonymous with the Absolute also. It is the child of the Absolute. But the world has not discovered the I am. All say I am, but few know it as it is. Knowing the I am is the same as being I am. They cannot be an independent knower of I am, and there be two. So please follow my guidance there. Stabilize first in the weaknessing, because this is the one who must conquer the world. To whom do I speak? That's good enough. While the consciousness is here, and the body is here, and the vital breath is in you, stabilize in the consciousness I am. Be established in there first, as the weakness of all that arise, because we have been living in the midst of the I person, of the sense of personhood, which, though it is a form of consciousness, Hmm? It is full of disease. Disease means false ideas about itself. It is selfish, insecure, full of desires and attachments. It is very much a very limited uh, form of consciousness, which it is meant to be. But in the core of this I am person consciousness, is the I am presence consciousness. And that personhood identity must be peeled away so that that which is uh, is revealed. Now I don't want to give you the picture too much of peeling away, because even peeling away at the self is watched in the self. We are going to have to use your mind in another way, in a more spiritual way. Because if you rely only on logic, hmm, then it will say, but you know, yes, you become very mental. So when I say, stay uh, as just the vibration I am, and fix your attention on that, to see if you can confirm that that can be by itself. In other words, that you can be by yourself first. Because if you don't, you will find that you need so many other things to be. You need so many things to be happy or to feel yourself. And perishable things also. And it is fine, God made all of them. And for our comfort it is fine. But you must find what it is that is I am. And I've shown you now. So the more you are stabilizing in this, you will see the wealth of this. You will feel the health of this. You will see the unendingness of this. You will feel the joy and the love of this. You will feel the compassion and the wisdom of this. This you must find. So while you are conscious, you think, well, but, but can it go away? Not like this. 
He is the king of the waking state. You must understand this kingdom and rule it well, not by force, but by wisdom, you see, and self awareness. Do you understand what I speak now? Like beyond just mentally, it must uh, be a, a resonance within you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Very good, and thank you for this question too. For the moment, I feel that mm, it's enough for the moment. If I were to engage in other things right now, I don't want to blur the importance, the significance of this exercise, which I've shown you, no? of staying with the I Am. You don't have to go looking for I Am. Even the one who is about to look is the I Am, dreaming itself to be a high person, searching to be I Am. There are certain paradoxes that will come up on the way. If you are too literal, you will find, Oh, I'm confused, it doesn't make sense. But if you stay in your heart, the grace will help you too. You will come intuitively to understand some things. You say, I didn't know how I came to understand that. I didn't, I didn't study this, but somehow I know this now, like this grace work. So don't be too proud of the intellect. Have an attitude of gratitude also. That your looking, your introspections, will be wind assisted by grace, meaning that somehow it becomes easier. Because your beingness wanted to come here. Consciousness is attracted to consciousness. Consciousness love the company of consciousness. There are some few things to resolve that may appear to have been in the way you are waking up to the to the the clear seeing and understanding that these were just delusions. Illusions believed in becoming delusions or something. We are good like this? So uh, I'm coming uh, next time. Hope there's space to. But now with this looking, uh, we take lunch. You can be wherever you need to be, and so on. Sit by yourself, and uh, mm, simply again, the vibration or the that intuition, the sense I am is already there. It is there before everything. For any thought, any intention, anything, it is already here. You did not earn it. It is you. So just be with that, because the mind will tell you, listen, you know, you need to try and focus and uh, you know, really try and catch it, you know, really, really you know, try and catch the high. You're coming close, but you're not there yet. If you have these kind of thoughts, you must throw them away. The natural feeling of I in you belongs to I am, not to person. Hmm? This we know, and stay with it. In the beginning, you may find it's easy to be distracted. Other thoughts are coming in, other things are coming in like this. Your mind becomes like a news page. So many things coming, so many things coming. But know and you recognize that's some kind of scam going on, and stay with it. And gradually, by persisting, something just—it's like the sky is open. Something opens, and you find just that you're you're here. And stay with it. Just be in that natural vibration. It's not a doing. It is an isness. And just to stay with this. <laughs>